So the synthetic part, I'm just placing it and then I flip it and then I start to soften up that line. And then I start to add shading around. So I'll do around like the jawline, kind of like how I'm contouring like I, some of I do space. the same thing here. Mm -hmm. You can then, see here a little bit more yeah, color, deeper. You, yeah, you can see it. And then you can build up the color and the pigment and it's going to create more of a shadow. Yes. The sliding is so bad. Yo, are you recording me? Hello. Stop. Stop. Yo, look, you can still see like the the dye <laughs> from my freaking hair dye. Hey, we have uh, you, Darvish, now. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Bar ping. Bar ping. Oh, my drink already. Fuck. <laughs> I said bar ping. Bar pong, yes. Beer pong, yes. No, not yet. No. I could just play this. Oh, it's not shit. It's not breaking my bag. Yeah. That's my Korean, my Korean side is showing. You know, Are you really Korean? Every two yeah. weeks. Twenty-five. They always tell me that. And that's like, all Twenty-five percent Korean, South that. Korean. So I'm trying to get my life together today and clean this disaster. Like this is my life. Like look at this. Ridiculous. Like, oh God, there's so much to clean. I changed my sheets. I gotta wash my comforter. So, you know, you try to be cute, but you're really not because there's makeup stain on your decorative pillow and your pillowcases don't match. So that's just, that's life, right, Bubble? And then earlier I went into my bathroom to get the sheets and all of a sudden I'm like, ah, roaches! But those are my lashes from last night because you know, when you're too drunk to want to put them in your room at your vanity because you were just trying to be a good person and wash your makeup off and not sleep with it. And then you're like, hmm, I'm already in the bathroom. Why would I walk back to my room and then come back here? So, yeah. Hard to decide. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong. Look at this. Ugh. That's right. You don't want that around your brother. Yucky goo. I do, I do. Hold on, hold on. Why do I like lime bats instead? But lime bats are already told. Good morning, bro chicas. So, I was making this vlog and <clears throat> I don't know, I've just been like all over the place busy and I forgot to continue it. <laughs> so the clips that you just saw were from over a week ago. Anywho, um, I figured I would just go ahead and like try to add some more to this vlog since I 
have the day off today, which is nice. Um, so today is Friday, the 23rd, March 23rd, and my daughter actually is receiving an award at her school today. Um, it's very early. I don't like waking up early, you guys. You know this. But I had to wake up at like 6.45 so that I could drink my coffee and like get ready for the day. Ooh, look at this, dude. Look at this. Do you know that every time I wear a ponytail, I have to hairspray and gel down my baby hairs because these are all of the broken hairs. See that? These are all of the broken hairs from when I dyed my hair red. It's all damaged from like being bleached and stuff. Oh, it's so hideous. It really bothers me. But yeah, I'm over here looking like a raccoon because <laughs> I'm not used to waking up that early. Um, so I, yeah, I woke up at 6.45 so that I could drink my coffee and then like get ready so that we could go to her school at 8.30 because 8.30 in the morning is when they're having their little award ceremony, whatever it's called. Um, and then we have to come back home and chill and then she has school at 1120. So <clears throat> I have the day off today. Which is cool. I need to do some cleaning. I was going to try to go to Plato's Closet to sell some more things. Um, but we'll see. I'm not sure if I have anything that would be worthy of selling at Plato's Closet. Because I was going to try to sell some of my husband's polo shirts. But I think I'm just going to call them first and be like, Hey, do you guys buy polo shirts? Because I don't want to go all the way there if that's not something they would buy. Um, but I've been selling a lot of stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Do you guys ever use that? Has any, like, let me know in the comments if anybody's used Facebook Marketplace. It's so awesome and so convenient. It's just easier. Like, we were going to have a garage sale, and then we ended up not doing it. We got lazy, and, um, so now I'm just kind of, like, taking the things I was going to sell in the garage sale, and I'm just putting it on Facebook Marketplace. Ugh, why can't I speak? Facebook marketplace instead um, and then people we just meet them somewhere and then they just pick it up and it's just easy peasy and it's always people who live in this area it only shows who lives near you you know like in your city so it's pretty convenient I'm so happy that they that I feel like it's very new like in the past year or two that's new on Facebook but I've sold uh, quite a few things on there. Um, yesterday I sold some stuff. So it's like easy cash. But basically I'm just trying to get rid of all of this stuff from my garage. I'm just trying to clean out my garage. Because my husband and I want to like fix it up and clean it up. And put a little air conditioner thing. One of those little portable air conditioners. And we want to try to make that my office. Because... I just need a bigger space, like a bigger workspace. Like I want to have like my filming set up, like set up the entire time and I don't want to have to break it down. So every time I film like a makeup tutorial or a haul up in my room, I have to do my whole setup and like put my tripod and, you know, clean up my area. Um, and then once I'm done filming, I have to break it back down because it's in my room and I don't have a lot of room. And um, I really love doing YouTube and I don't plan on stopping. I really, really love it. It's a passion of mine. And, um, so I just kind of want to have an area for me to go to. I want to like have a day off and I can just go in there and just pre-film videos because I'm a mom and I have a job. Um, it's so much easier for me to pre-film, but I want to just have a place already set up. And then all I would have to do is get a little... Um, what do you call it? Like a little container, bring all the makeup I was going to wear and just bring it down here to the garage. And then I, I would just want to have like a clean workspace, if that makes sense. So. <laughs> Raul out here hooking you up with some big prizes. Come on through. No purchase is necessary, like I said before. But pretend you want to make that experience. That's $25 a line. 341 Valley High. What's up, y'all? Forgot I was vlogging. Just been doing stuff all day. 
My hair looking crazy. Um, sorry. <laughs> I'm all like all lit all the time you know um so we're just like cleaning out our garage right now hubby is washing the car he washed my car he's walking washing his truck right now oh i can't speak sometimes i did get some cleaning accomplished like i told y'all i did some loads of laundry i did the dishes i washed the counters um took out the trash basically just selling stuff for my garage on facebook marketplace kind of like it's kind of like a garage sale but it's like digital digitally because you normally have to pay for a permit to do a garage sale which is annoying so basically i'm just posting up all this stuff and i'm just selling it and no this is not sponsored there's no way in hell that i could be sponsored by facebook so just if you're wondering but anywho um no makeup today I'm trying to let my skin chill um, it's been getting really uh, better. It's been getting way better. Like I know in the sunlight like this, I know it kind of like looks bad, but um, it's way flatter and I'm like really happy with uh, what's happening with my skin. I started using tea tree oil again, um, but you have to mix it with something. And the way I used it at first, I did it wrong. So you do have to mix it with something and it works way better. Um, if you guys are interested in that, if you need help with your acne, let me know in the comments below. I'll show you my little trick. Um, it has saved my life. Uh, so we're just chilling outside waiting for somebody to come by and pick up this cosmetic train case that I'm selling and uh, We're just trying to clean stuff out um, Yeah, that's pretty much it Yay! You're so good at riding a bike, baby What's up, Daddy? He said, watch out. Daddy. Oh, he said, watch out. Turn. Turn your car. Good morning, guys. It is super early. I don't know why I'm awake. Pretty much been awake since 4.30, lying in my bed, trying to figure out a way to go back to sleep. And I just, I don't know. I just couldn't go back to sleep. It's 6 in the morning now. Yeah, 6 in the morning. I was just like, whatever, I'll just get up and maybe I can be productive and like do some more cleaning today. Sorry y'all have to see my ugly morning face. I look so bad right now, looking like Edward Scissorhands with my hair. I just put it into a braid so it would kind of like not get tangled because I just washed it last night. I really need to film a video today. I've been meaning to film a video for a week and I haven't done it. My life feels crazy right now. I have a lot of things coming up. Like we've been trying to clean this garage and like clean out all of our stuff from the garage. I've been selling my stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Like I said, just trying to get rid of stuff and trying to make some room, trying to do some spring cleaning. And also we're supposed to get a hail storm tonight. So we needed to make sure that our garage was clean and had enough room for the new truck to sit in because we don't want it to get any hail damage of course so that's what we've been doing and I've just been struggling with my job lately and I'm looking at other options I'm basically considering going back to my previous job which I've been at for many years I mean on and off many years I've been at that job and I think you guys know what it is um, and I, I think I can speak on it because I don't technically work for them right now um, but I used to work at Starbucks and I think I'm gonna go back there because I don't know sometimes I would get sick of it and I would leave the job but it's not because I was like sick of the job I think I would just get sick of certain people you know like if you're not working with the right people you can kind of just be unhappy i always end up going back because it's such a good company like it really is such a good company to work for and i can just always depend on them and to work with my schedule and to care about their partners and um 
yeah, I don't, I feel, I feel comfortable there and I can, it's just dependable for my lifestyle. And I know that you're not supposed to do what's comfortable. You're supposed to be bigger and better and more successful. And that's my struggle is that I want to be so many things. I want to be so successful and sometimes I know what that is and sometimes I don't know what that is and I get like down on myself like oh my god I should be doing something bigger and better by now but then I have to relax and I have to realize that I am doing something really great and that's being a mother and I am primarily a mother. That is my number one thing, my number one job. I don't like to call it a job, but you know what I mean. And the fact that I'm a mother and I'm a wife and I have a job and I have a passion, I think that's pretty fulfilling. You know, it's not like I'm doing nothing with my life. So I have to give myself credit sometimes, but you know, sometimes I do feel bad. And there's plenty of mothers who don't have a job, so I don't know why. And they're so proud of themselves. And they should be proud of themselves. But I'm over here like, oh no, I'm not doing enough. I'm not doing enough. But there will come a time where my children will be in school full time. And I will be able to do more and have a little more time. And my schedule will be a little more steady so that I can do something else. But my big thing that I've been thinking about lately is that I wanna be here more for my kids. I wish I could have been a stay-at-home mom for a few years, we'll see. I mean, we still have a little time, but um, I think my daughter had me as a stay-at-home mom just for a little bit, which was really nice. And I want my son to be able to have me as a stay-at-home mom for a little bit. Just because, I don't know, they're only little for so long and I'm going to cry if I start talking about it. But I just don't want to miss out on their little years, you know. Like my daughter's already in pre-K, the year's going to be over soon and she's going to be in kindergarten. And it's just like yesterday she was a little baby. We would just chill at home every day and just to get out of the house we would go on a walk to the park. Like, ugh. Sorry, <laughs> I get all emotional because they just grow up so fast and well, sometimes I'm just focusing so much on me, me, me and jobs and hustling and getting the money and you know, but life is more than that and even though it's really nice to be successful and make a lot of money and be comfortable, one thing you can't get back is time. I can always make money, but I can't make back time, and I just really want to make sure I appreciate and enjoy these last f these last few years before they go to school and they're full time in school and they're hanging out with friends and they're wanting to do sleepovers and they're doing sports and they're just kind of like too busy to be with mom, like cuddled up with mom and you know wanting to spend family time. I feel like. You know, it's only going to get more busy from here, and it's only going to get harder from here. <laughs> so, I just want to enjoy these these few years, and my son is already going to turn two next month, and I can't even believe it. I just can't even believe how fast it's gone. I remember when a second child wasn't even a thought in our minds. Like, oh, there's no way we could have two children and make it financially, you know? And then... We came up pregnant and then we finally had him and we just couldn't even believe that we were capable of having a second child like you know I don't know like making those decisions like it's so important it's so grown up and we're just like what we're grown-ups what <laughs> life happens so fast so uh, I would I would love to just be with them more and be available for them more because I think with the hustle and bustle of having a job and you know, I do work from home and other jobs. And then I, I like to do my passion, which is YouTube. You know, it takes up a lot of my time and sometimes I get a little frustrated, but I wish I could just have more time for them. But 
Anyways, being at Starbucks allows me to have an easier schedule and they understand my schedule more and um, it's not as mentally demanding. It's really just physical. You're just working, um, making drinks, cleaning, and I don't feel as uh, mentally drained as I do at this job. So the management at this job it just drains me mentally and it is just, I don't like working sales. I like, I love working with makeup. I love putting makeup on women. I love making people feel beautiful, but I don't like sales. I don't like pushing sales. I don't like pushing numbers. I don't like the feeling. Um, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's uncomfortable for me and it's uncomfortable for them. But it was a nice experience and, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to do Starbucks, hopefully, for a little bit longer. I just put in my application yesterday. Um, I've been back to Starbucks three times and they've always um, had took it, taken me with open arms. So hopefully they do the same this time. I've always left in a very good, you know, good standing with them. But, you know, hopefully I'll be able to just concentrate more on my kids and spend some more quality time and, you know, do more fun stuff with them and not be as frustrated. I don't know, like, I think all of the cleaning has just taken over my mind this past week and, like, the possible transitioning of jobs. But I really excited to film another video and I really want to try that Maybelline Superstay foundation I may or may not buy that this weekend like I really really want to try that foundation um because I know I've been using my Estee Lauder double wear a lot I know but it's so good like it's such a good foundation like it's it's full coverage and it doesn't feel heavy and it lasts all day it's like hard it's hard not to use that um but I was watching reviews on the Maybelline, the new Maybelline Superstay Foundation, and it seems like it has like a very similar wear to the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So I really want to try it because it's more affordable. I think it's eleven dollars. Really want to try that because I haven't bought a new drugstore foundation in months and months. So I tried to put on some of my old ones, <laughs> like I tried wearing my Wet n Wild Photo Focus ones again. And I like them. They look very pretty. They're comfortable. They look good in pictures, but they don't last. Like, you can only wear that foundation for, like, I want to say, like, four hours, and that's it. Because it starts disappearing here and here, which is why I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear so much. Because it stays. It stays on your skin until you take it off. I love it. Um, then I tried wearing my Revlon Color Stay, and that was a no-go, and I have the wrong shade. Uh, that was when I was much more tan. Yeah, but I'm really ready to try a new one. I think I'm out of both of my Maybelline Fit Me's, but I'm really down to try the Maybelline Super Stays, so maybe I'll get that this weekend. I think I have like $6 worth of points to Ulta. Maybe I'll use that and get me the foundation. But anyways, that is going to be it. I think I'm going to end this vlog. I'm sorry if not much went on and it wasn't very exciting. But I want to go ahead and get this video up for you guys. And then I would love to film a video today. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. It feels so good to have a little community. It just, it just makes me feel so happy. And the fact that you guys watch my videos just gives me the feels so give this a thumbs up if you enjoy my vlogs i will keep doing them for you i love doing vlogs and then i will see you guys in the next video bye